So I'm just going to do a little overview on my Axial SDX-102. It was originally the deadbolt. Um, picked that up about a year or so ago. And then it stopped working for a little bit and figured out that it was a servo. It was fried. Um, so from there, I just started building. I did have a little stinger here that I just had glued on until I had time to weld it which clearly I should have done it sooner, but started off with a smitty bolt, basically look like stinger front bumper. Uh, and then I got a piece of an L bracket, made a plate, riveted it to the front as my bumper. Um, this was not a Comanche body. This is a custom XJ body that has been chopped up and I made a little rear cage with some kickers Got these little accessories, made my whip. Uh, I made the entire bed, did a little wood grain bed floor basically. Um, I also made my rear bumper, which I guess I need a remake because it's just bending to all heck right now. Um, my little toe point slash winch point. Those are the stock wheels um, from the deadbolt. Basically, that's everything. Uh, you can see that the front has the two body posts. The rear is actually Velcro, just to hide the body posts. A couple more scale points, I guess. Um, I did order a set of headlights, taillights, and running lights, but I'm going to turn the running lights into rock lights. So, yeah. Basically, with this cage, it all started with the bed, and I decided to make it look more like Comanche with a roll cage style kicker. Uh, cage type of deal. From there I glued it all into place and then I started to braise it and it sort of worked with these crossbar here and it just all fell apart after I fell down a rock face while well, the car did um, and then I just migged everything here. For the rear bumper it's out of brass so I brazed that but I'm going to make a new one once I weld up my front bumper. You can all see these little lines here. I'm just going to chop them down so I get better approach angles as well as up front here and over there. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and if you're wondering why it's covered in water and mud and other stuff, I just did a little crawl here at the park and uh, I will have that video up as well. Thank you for watching.